everyone, Kathy back with Dirty Booty Soaps, and today we're doing another bath bomb. Uh, really a tutorial, or just showing you what I'm doing, I guess. Um, the other day I did um, blueberry bath bomb, and I used the little the little blue balls of soap. Today I'm doing some seashell bombs. And with that same mold that I made the little blueberries out of, I made cocoa butter pearls out of. So I, what I did was I melted cocoa butter and poured it into my little ball mold. And when I popped them out, I rolled them in some of the um, Super Sparkle uh, Diamond Dust Glitter Mica stuff from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Anyway, I made these adorable pearls. Um, here, I'll show you one. They're very pretty, very shiny. And so we're using that also in our packaging. So, what I've got here is my bath bomb um, mixture. I've got my liquids here, which I'll pour in. I've got um, coconut oil, uh, my fragrance, and a little bit of polysorbate 80. So we're going to just stir that kind of in to our mix. I'm fragrancing these pineapple papaya. Um, I did some the other day in the same mold and I, I fragranced them apricot freesia. And oh, they were so, they're so pretty and they turned out really cute. Um, these ones I'm changing the color up a bit and doing them in the pineapple papaya which is a really nice tropical fragrance. So anyway, I'm just kind of getting that all mixed together and then I'm going to divide off part into here. Like so. And I'm putting in some pink mica powder this turns out so pretty in these little bath bombs and the mold I'm using is actually it's a candy mold um, it would really be cute as soap but it's not meant for hot process or cold cold or hot process but it's a chocolate mold and it's in these cute little seashell shapes um, by themselves, each one is probably too small to put in the bath, so I'm packaging up the, in um, three pair packages. You'll see what I'm doing in a, in a minute. But anyway, for now, look at that beautiful pink. So pretty. And I'm going to give uh, just a little bit of witch hazel. I'm just going to spritz each one of these up a little bit, make sure we get it so it's binding well. If you follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, you'll see I put pictures on of what these look like all packaged up. Okay, so that's good this one. Just need some spritzing and mixing more here. I still got some white in there. Let's give it a little some spritzes and mix quickly. For all my bath bombs that I make I uh, set them downstairs right next to our dehumidifier. I find they dry quicker and better that way. Okay, so that's good. So I'll set these here and make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to start out with the white 
in the bottom here and I just put a tiny amount in each one like so. I would say bath bomb making is not the neatest and tidiest thing. But these are cute if you have like a beach uh, wedding theme. These would make awesome uh, bridesmaids gifts even. Or if you just have an ocean thing going in your own uh, bathroom. Okay, so now we're going to take some of the pink and drop it. Now, see, I'm not packing yet either. So I'm just kind of layering at this point. Just a little bit more in each. Keeping the white on the bottom. We just got through having a deep freeze here where I live. Um, I think the worst wind chill I saw on our weather app on my phone was, oh gosh, in the 40 below range. <laughs> yeah, it was not fun. But today we're a lot warmer. I think we're in the 20s today, maybe even 30. That's Fahrenheit, folks. Okay, so I just tapped it down just a little bit. We're going to layer in the rest of our white. Actually, just kind of spreading it around. On each of these. This one I'll just little plop in the middle here. And spread it evenly, somewhat, throughout the six cavities on each and pressing down some more you guys these turn out so cute I just can't wait to show you I say hi to my granddaughter Emma while we're here because she's going to be watching. Hi Emma! Mima's making some cool stuff again. I am thinking of starting another channel, possibly, with um, some easy craft ideas that kids can follow along and do while they're watching. Um, so we're, we're kind of mulling that over right now on what we might have as projects. So keep your eyes peeled if I decide I'm going to be doing that. I'll let you know. Got the idea from my daughter-in-law and husband there because my granddaughter Emma loves to watch my videos. She's been binge watching me lately and I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a little kids craft uh, channel. I'm sure there's other ones out there but there's room for all of us right? Okay so I'm, pr I'm pressing these really firm now trying to get it packed into the mold scraping what I can back in from my mess. Pressing really good here. I just love the smell of this pineapple papaya. It's um it's a brambleberry fragrance for those of you who want to know. The one I'm using anyway. The other day I was using blueberry, uh, one of the blueberry fragrances from uh, Crafter's Choice, which was also quite popular, the blueberry.
And somebody had a question on the color I used on my blueberry. You know, I wasn't really thinking when I picked it. I just saw the blue sitting on my shelf, and so I used it. Um, but it was a neon, and they had a question on whether that's really safe or approved by the FDA to use in bath bombs. And so I went back to the website and posed the question, because it did say it was safe for general cosmetic use, but anyway, I just want to make sure there. So we press firmly in here. I'm going to try and dump the rest of these crumbles here. Kind of tidy up. Um, I uh, always spritz these with a little bit of alcohol. It helps them dry a little quicker when I put them down. I'm going to put these down by my dehumidifier when I'm done here. And they'll finish drying there. Now through the magic of... I'm going to take my gloves off here. Through the magic of YouTube... I did these this morning and already have them popped out and they are just super cute aren't they adorable they turned out really really cute so let me get one up close here look at that aren't they cute the back side so like i said by themselves they're not that big to be putting in the, into the bath so what I do, and like I said, the way I'm packaging these, it'll be three sets of two in each package. And the ones I did the other day, I put one cocoa butter pearl in the center of the package. Well, I figured, well, what if everybody wants to put one in each of their baths to go with their little clams? So this time I'm putting three cocoa butter pearls in. So what we do is we'll pair up our clam shells like so. Put them together and I'll get three of them here for this package. So like so. It's a crumbly job. Anyway, like so. So you're making these little clams. And I've got my six by six inch square um, shrink wrap bags. So I'm gonna put, put them in. So I'll face this one this way. This one the opposite way going into the corner. And then I've got the other one like so. So you've got a little triangular uh, shape going on and this is where it can get a little delicate um, so I'm gonna get three pearls and hopefully I can do this I'm gonna put them all right in the center oh let's see one slid off already I'm gonna put them in the center so one two and three like so. Now I'm going to somehow, oh, now we're falling apart. See, I am not perfect, folks. This just takes some finessing to get them where I want them and to get them to stay. You hear me? Stay! Okay, so stay. Stay, stay, stay. And I'm going to fold over gently. Oh, see, they're not staying. So I just finagle them back. It's all in getting them to stay until I get this thing shrink wrapped, which I should have been more prepared for. I gotta get my shrink wrapping gun out. Plug that in. Maybe this will go smoother with my next one. <laughs> okay. So, we've got them in the middle. I fold it over my bag. I've got my gun. I'm going to turn it on and flip this over and start shrink wrapping on the back side. So, 
Then we'll see what the front looks like. <laughs> well, they're okay. It's not bad. Okay. So, it's not bad. It's not, I would rather have this one over here. This one over here. But they turned out not, not too terrible. Now we're gonna try and do the other one. <laughs> okay, so get my little bag. But these make the cutest little sets. I just, I, I'm sure other people make these using different molds. But I saw this mold when I was just browsing around and I thought, oh, that would be so cute. So I thought I have to give it a try. And I'm glad I did because these sets turn out just so adorable. Okay, I'm going to grab my three pearls and have them ready. So that way somebody can pop a, the two uh, the clam shells in their tub and they can put a little pearl in there as well and just let that dissolve into the bath with just a tiny little bit of cocoa butter. Okay, and this one this way. And we'll take you three guys. Stay in the center. Fold this over. Yeah. Shrink, baby, shrink. So there's our second one. Aren't they cute? Just a little beachy theme. And then I'll show you my other ones that I did the other day. With just the one pearl. And these are these are in an apricot free chef fragrance. Very cute. And I used a gold mica in these. Just adorable. So here I'll, I'll put these over here and we'll take you down and get you a better view. Oh, bear with me. Here we go. But isn't that the cutest little setup? I can get my focus. I love the pink. I thought it turned out really cute. But these look pretty realistic. These ones with the gold. I do like having the three pearls in the middle though. Too cute though, huh? Anyway, like I said, this is just uh, something I thought of the other day. Package these up in a seashell, seashell shape. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, anyway, thought I'd share it with you. And uh, maybe you can make some yourselves. So, hope you like the video. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up. And uh, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and I have a shop over on Etsy as well, the Dirty Booty Soaps. So if you are interested in purchasing any of our soaps or anything, you can go over there. And uh, anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And I'll say goodbye to you all, and goodbye, Emma. Mima, we'll see you later. Love you. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.